Hi, this is Ralph Wilson with Web Marketing Today. I'm in Las Vegas at the PubCon conference with Kate Morris, who's a specialist in search marketing. And Kate, we want to talk today about some tips to track conversions using Google AdWords and pay-per-click campaigns. Yes. So uh, it starts with a tracking code, yes. uh, which a lot of people forget. Yes. Um, tell me about this tracking code, where it goes, what it, what it tells you. Okay. Google AdWords uh, will, will actually give you a conversion tracking code. It's a piece of JavaScript to, to any small business. It looks just like a, a, a piece of code. Once you enable conversion tracking within Google AdWords, you place that tracking code at the very end of your thank you page, confirmation page, basically the page that people end on when they've done what you want them to do. So you just copy and paste right yes. onto that thank you page. Exactly, exactly. It's a very, very, very easy process. So this would be like the thank you for the sale page or the thank you for the subscription page or thank you for the lead? Exactly. Or whatever. Exactly, what, whatever you want them to do. And so what happens now that, that that code's in place, what do you see in your interface with Google AdWords? Well, once, once that tracking code is in place, Google starts to track wh whenever people complete that lead, sale, whatever. That allows you then, when you log in to Google AdWords, to see not only clicks, click-through rate, and cost, you now see how many conversions and your cost per conversion. Mm -hmm. This cost per conversion gives you a great idea of how much it's really costing you to right. develop those leads. So without that, you're just figuring cost per click, mm -hmm. but if those words never convert, you, may, you, you won't pick that up. Exactly. So you've got to get this cost per conversion. Yes. If you really want to be able to understand what's going on with your marketing and save money. Exactly. Exactly. You you really do need as much as the picture as much of the picture as possible. Now, if you're tracking say a lead mm -hmm. that may take 6 months to get the sale, yes. how, how do you track something like that? That is 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 something different and and actually a lot of small companies don't realize this. Google will track your cost per lead, your, your, your cost per whatever that online form that you want them right. to fill out. when they complete it. Exactly, but they do, you don't actually get the entire sale. So what you really need to be doing, it can be done in, a, in, a, in, a, in an external Excel spreadsheet, or if you have a CRM system, same thing. Use that to then track where that lead went to, step by step by step, where it ended, if it resulted in a sale. Because in, in terms like these, you have very high end products that are fifty, hundred thousand dollars, but you don't know if those clicks are if those leads are actually turning into a sale. And if you don't know if they're turning into sales, then you don't know if you can actually be affording mm. these campaigns. So if I'm it's it's easy to figure out uh, which keywords end up with a, a lead generated. Yes. How do I figure out what keyword I'm attaching to this customer so that when we complete the sale, I'll know what keyword it came in on. That, that actually, you, re you really have to pay attention to your data. Mm -hmm. um, your tracking system can tell you that. Um, and, and Google AdWords can also tell you that, especially small businesses when hopefully this will change, but leads aren't coming in just hand, hand over fist. Right. You can see where the leads are coming in and what, and that's the great thing about the conversion code, is you can see which which keyword that, that conversion is attached okay. to. You can see on the campaign and the keyword level. And then make sure you carry that information through to the end. Yes, yes. Now, this sounds like work, but if you're talking about products with big price tags, you really do need now to know this. you know how much to spend on your advertising mm -hmm. to get you this sale. Exactly. And that, that can be important. Also, convincing your boss to spend some money on it. Exactly, because especially with a big ticket item, your cost per click may be a little bit higher than, 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 than some other companies, but that might result in much more of a profit than traditional marketing avenues. So you have to have the data to then present to your boss. Okay. Uh, how often should you be checking cost per conversion? A lot of people assume that you need to be checking it very, very often. You actually need to check it monthly, especially for small businesses. You really, if you were to check it weekly or daily, there are a lot of spikes throughout the day, there are a lot of spikes throughout the week. There are trends for weekends, everything else, there are too many bumps in the road. Kind of like the stock market right now. Exactly. <laughs> up and down and up, and you just do not know where it's yeah. going to go. And if, it's, it's too easy to obsess about this kind of stuff, I think. It's like getting on a scale every day. <laughs> you are, you're going to fluctuate a couple of pounds every hour. It, there, it's, it's, it's really, it's just yeah. going to put you in a frenzy. So every month is, is adequate. Yes, yes. That way all of your trends kind of even out and you can see definite trend okay. lines 
and, and patterns so that you can then adjust your pay-per-click campaign accordingly. Very good. Well, thanks for the tips. Tell me about your business and what you do. I'm the search engine marketing manager for Rate Genius. They do auto refinancing, uh, which is basically, it's like a mortgage refinance, but it's really for your car. It kind of saves you money in, in today's market. It's, it's <laughs> kind of helpful. Um, I also do cons some consulting on the side. Uh, anybody can find me at longhornkate.com, which is my blog, or anytime on Twitter, Kate Morris. All right. Thanks, Kate. This is Ralph Wilson with Web Marketing Today. Thank you.